retail beer and retail, retail table one, off premises only. Doing business is Divine Healing Sea Moss at 631 D West Fairview Avenue. Representative of uh, Jamaican Sea Moss, you here, please? Come forward. Your name for the record, ma'am? Is that my name? Shakila, Germany. Okay, Ms. Germany. Mm -hmm. This is a public hearing. Anyone like to speak against this item? Please come forward. Seeing none, until the public hearing has been held, it's proper for the council. Need a motion? And Ms. Ms. Graham, you have some comments? I do. Um, I, I had a chance to speak with Ms. German um, and go over to her facility. Really nice facility. They're doing a good job. Um, I'm excited about what, you know, her um, hair supply, beauty supply, beauty supply, and sea moss that you're selling. Um, but I, as I shared with Ms. German, <clears throat> we are not in favor of any additional alcohol being sold on that strip. Within that, within a mile, there are like 11 different facilities that sell alcohol up there. I did have a chance to speak with the neighborhood president and she said the same thing. She said that um, her members in the community, they complain about all they really get is people want to sell alcohol. And it's, just, it's just too much alcohol. And I guess from the problems they have. So with that said, um, I don't know if you have anything you want to say, but I know we talked. But if you have anything you want to say, I guess now would be the time to say it. Yes, I do. Um... I've been in business for over two and a half years online, selling on Walmart, Amazon. Um, also, Canada and Walmart want me out, so I've been selling my own products that I make. But it is hard to keep up my own production when I do it myself. I came from a background where I was disabled, didn't have nothing. Me and my kids didn't have a place to go. My daughter want to go to college in a couple years for, for a doctor. I can't just support everything on my own. I gotta pay for the store, I gotta pay for my help, get the help and everything I need. And I know one thing about, I'm not asking for a liquor license. I know one thing about that wine industry is very profitable and it's over, you know, it's a billion dollar industry. I am not out here to like, for to make my, my west side bad because I'm from the west side and I know what the west side is. But I'm trying, I had no support from my own hometown. I got support all over the world. Over 4,000 customers, just me and my kids, do, you know, in business at home. I started in an apartment. Our ongoing mission is to give the west side of Montgomery a new look and approach when it comes to wine. Our job is to offer quality over quantity to make sure the residents and store owners on the side feel safe and comfortable. We choose wine over liquor. Um, we want to be open-minded and consider the feelings of our residents, <coughs> the store owners, and our customers in this area. So we decided that the best approach would be to offer the best wine selection and the most knowledgeable courtesy customer service in Montgomery area. And yes, um, Ms. Audrey is right. It's plenty of places that do, you know, alcohol and liquor on there. They do have the OK Mini Mart. They have the ABC Spirit Stores. They got the Family Dollar. They have the Dollar General. They also have the Food Mart um, gas station. They got Walgreens. They have CVS. And they also have the Meat City that just got there. And they already serving alcohol and liquor and wine. I mean, not liquor, but wine and beer. And my question is, why me now? Well, and you know, I miss, um, Ms. German, you know, me and you had a conversation about that, that, you know, that wasn't my district initially when all of those opened up. Um, my conversation has been with the people in District 4 from the very first when I was elected in 2018. They wanted us, they asked me to stop that because that's all we were having coming to that community. So, you know, I'm proposed to, to vote <coughs> no today, but if you like to get with the neighborhood president, and, you know, and get them to say they support you, you know, because like I said, I spoke with her yes. and she said no. I mean, you know, I don't know if you had a chance to reach to the president or did you, you know, if you knew her or not. But I'm not, listen, mm -hmm. your business, I'm looking forward to you doing your business there, right? Because yes. you got, you know, you're going to, you, your children, they have arts that you, you know, you told me you're going to sell, you're going to do sea malls, you're going to do your beauty products. So, you know, your I need business. To find it. So, I, you know, I could carry it over for you for 30, day, 30 days and see what they say, but at this point, 
if, if you're not interested in that. But if, if you're okay with that, well, I can do that. And I'll make sure I get you their information mm -hmm. and get you in contact with them so you don't have to try to track them down. No problem. I got over 100 signatures in that area that support me. So, you know, I have to go to the president first to find out. From people who live in the community or... Yes, for people that live in the community, I got over 100 signatures. I did a petition online, and I also went around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I still say you need to talk to the president, because I feel like they okay. still need to... I can um, get that information, and that's no problem. I appreciate it. Okay, right. we'll carry it over for 30 days. 30 days. Okay. Thank you. Number 16. Did you close the public hearing? Did you close the hearing? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, public has been held for the council. Can't sign them all. Yeah, carried over 30, 30 days. days. Okay. Off premises only. Doing business as Divine Healing CMOS at 631D West Fairview Avenue. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, ma'am. You're the. Yeah, we already had. We, yeah, we yes, had sir. We already had public hearing on this. Yes, sir. All right. And. Uh, Ms. Graham's out today, and uh, we understand that she would like to talk. She's not ready to vote on this. I'm sorry, so, say it again. Ma'am? Say it again, I'm sorry. We're going to carry it over. We're going to carry it over two weeks. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Item A, ordinance to amend the code of ordinances. Yes, ma'am. Your name for the record? Shaquilla. Shaquilla. Your name for the record, ma'am? I can't hear you. Your name for the record? For the record. Your name? Just give us your name. What's my name for the record? Yeah, she needs your name. Oh, Germany. Germany? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we've carried this over uh, a couple times. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Miss Germany, for coming back again. Thank you. Um, I know that some of the community members reached out to you and you had a conversation with mm -hmm. Okay, we've carried this over. Uh, couple times. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Miss Germany, for coming back again. Um, I know that some of the community members reached out to you and you had a conversation with them. I have some here tonight as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Conversation has not changed with them. Um, they are not in favor of having uh, additional alcoholic beverages being sold in that little small area over there. Um, Parking has been brought up, like people getting in and out and all of that. It's just a dip, several different concerns on top of that. So um, I, I'm going to, you know, ask this council to vote to deny that application that you have. I wish your business luck. I know you're going to do good over there. We've been talking about your sea malls. I've seen your post on Facebook, so I know you're getting your, you know, your name out there, and people know that you're there. Um, so I know your business will do well. Need a motion. Motion to deny. All in favor, please raise your hand. Unanimous. The resolution is denied. All right. Item four, Carriage Hills Neighborhood Association. 